Hi there. So over the last couple of weeks, I've had a great set of opportunities to go out and talk to people about uh, AlterX, Data Robot, and Power BI, the three things that I cover on this channel. And one of the questions that came up a number of times in each of those presentations was how to overcome the, I don't know if I want to call it um, fear, but it's a maybe a pushback from IT folks and from diehard programmers about the use of tools like AlterX and perhaps even Tableau Prep and, and things like that that help you develop data workflows that, uh, that are sort of code free or no code or maybe even low code. And, uh, and one of the things I hear a lot, especially from, from IT folks, unfortunately, is that you don't get a full range of features or you can't develop something that's truly custom because they're drag and drop tools or it's a graphical user interface. That's usually the common pushback that I get. And, uh, and quite simply, that's false. That's not true at all. Uh, the Alteryx tools in the Alteryx platform designer specifically has built into it the ability to drop in an R tool to write your own code. Uh, Power BI also has the ability to do, to do R behind the scenes and uh, the data robot platform has Jupyter Notebook built into it so you can write Python code there. So um, all of those all of those tools sort of debunk that myth that you can't do something custom uh, within those tools. And so what I wanted to do is actually prove to you that that's true. And so what I've got open is uh, is R Studio here and I'm running off the R packages uh, or the R install that comes with Alteryx. And in this case, I believe it's um, it's R3.3.2. So it's an older version of R circa October 2016. So it's it's not the newer version of R. Uh, but it'll still work uh, for this use case, and um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna demo R or show you exactly what R is. Uh, I'm assuming if you're watching it and you're talking about doing your own code, then you know a little bit about R than Python. So I'm just gonna go high level what what this does, and then we'll take it out of here and take this bring your own code concept into Alteryx and show you what it looks like. So uh, I've got the ggplot package installed, which basically just makes me, gives me the ability to create really nice charts and graphs inside R. And then I'm pulling in a data set that's built into R that's called MT Cars, and it's part of the Motor Trend car road test from 1973 to 74. And I'm just putting that in a variable called M. And uh, I'm referencing the uh, site, the cylinders here. I'm just changing a numeric field. The cylinders is numeric into a factor so I can get it to display on the plot as a legend. Uh, and then I'm actually going to draw the plot. So again, I'm not going to go through the details of what the ggplot uh, function does, but I'm using the m uh, variable that I set up earlier. And then I'm just giving it an X and Y axis. Uh, one, the X axis is the weight of the vehicle in thousands of pounds, and the Y is the miles per gallon. And then I'm just doing a really simple, easy legend here where I'm going to color and fill the legend uh, with the cylinder data that I have set up as a factor. All right, and then we're just going to add the add labels for the weight, so I'm not using the variable name. Uh, for the X and Y axis and also for the legend itself. So very simple uh, on how it's plotted. I'm going to clear everything out that I had previously set up. So we'll get rid of all of that stuff in there and then uh, we'll just run it. So I'm going to I'm going to do this quickly one at a time. I'm just hitting control enter and running a line of code here. So you'll see uh, the empty cars data set comes in motor trend data set with miles per gallon, cylinder, displacement, horsepower, all that stuff comes over. You'll see the cylinder is a number, so I'm going to change it to a factor here. Uh, and it, it's just four, six, or eight cylinders. That's all I've got in this data set. Uh, and then we're going to do the plot. So I'm going to highlight this whole area here and hit control enter and we'll run all of that at once. And you'll see that I've got the miles per gallon on my y axis, the weight on the x axis, and the number of cylinders here. Uh, color coded and uh, and then ordered from lowest to highest. So very simple plot. This is trivial. This isn't really very difficult to do. I'm not doing anything that's like 
you know, earth shattering, groundbreaking here, but it's just to show you uh, how you can do it. So I've built it in R, proven that it works, and now I want to port it over to Alteryx and have it run inside there. So we're going to go over to Alteryx, and I've got a blank workflow set up here, and I'm going to go over to the predictive tab, okay? So you need to install Alteryx Designer with the predictive install added on to it. And uh, you'll get a number of other tools here, and this is by no means exhaustive of all of the functions that would be available on R. This is just a select few. So in my case, maybe I don't have one that uh, that's here as a, as a tool that I can use. So I'm gonna go over to the Developer tab, and one of the options that I have is a R tool. So I'm gonna drag the R tool in here and on the uh, left side of the screen if that's where I've set up the configuration uh, pane I'm going to get an option to insert some code here uh, and I'm just going to bring my custom code over here so I'm going to select all of this I'm not going to take the install packages code because I've already done that so I don't need to install uh, the packages uh, and I'm going to paste that in here and then we're going to make a couple modifications. So I want to do two things. I want to output the raw data, and then I want to output the chart. So what we'll do is we'll hit the down arrow here on insert code, and we're going to choose write output to output one. And I've got a placeholder here for a data variable that I want to write out, and I just want to write out the M variable. That's got my empty car set. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to hit Control X. And we're going to move that item just below where I changed the factor. And then we're going to make a comment in here with the pound symbol. And we'll just say uh, output, we'll just call it raw raw data. All right, that's the first thing that we're, we're going to do. And then the second thing is I'm going to hit insert code again. But we're going to create a graph. It's going to be a small one. And we're going to put that in output too. All right. And uh, Alteryx tells me, a nice little hint here, insert the code to do the graph. They give me an example of what I want it to look like. That's not the graph that I want. I've built my own. So we'll take these items out of here, paste it just below the graph component, and, uh, and we should be good to go. I'm going to make one comment here, though, that will say uh, output uh, chart to output number two. Okay, and we'll say output raw data to uh, output number one just to keep it simple. It's kind of easy to tell that that's where I'm going to put it, but that should work good. Okay, then we're going to do a couple other things. We're going to take the browse tool and we're going to add it to the first output and we'll take the browse, another browse tool, and we'll add it to the second output. And then we'll run Run the uh, run the workflow and see what we get out of it. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, first output, of course, is the data set just as it was in R. It's not going to be any different than the data set that was in, you know, in there before. Looks fine to me. And then the other item that we're going to have out of here is the chart. At this point, and I'm going to expand this a little bit so we can see what the chart looks like. And you'll see it's exactly the way that it looked in R. There's the miles per gallon on my y-axis and the weight on the x-axis and the number of cylinders. Colors came over fine. Everything looks good. So again, proving that I have full custom control over what Alteryx is going to do with the R code. I can actually treat my R Studio environment here like my development environment. So I can do all of my testing. I can save my scripts as a file run the code here and then once I've got the final version ready I can just move it over to Alteryx and integrate it with whatever workflow that I'm building. Uh, in fact my next step here is, would be to use the reporting tools and put this out you know, to an email to a PDF or save it to another location like SharePoint. Going back to what I said just like Alteryx, Power BI, Data Robot, the other tools that I use have very similar functionality that let me port code over from a source system and fully customize and develop whatever I want. All right, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, please put your comments, uh, like the video, subscribe. 
uh, really helps me out. I'm very interested to hear what other people have to think about the bring your own code concept with some of these tools. So I look forward to your feedback. Thanks.